And we'll start with Trace Travers. Trace, go ahead. Yeah, Marquez, uh, you got the start, obviously. First play, force a fumble, recover the fumble. Can you walk us through what happened there? Yeah, I think before the game even started, um, with our preparation of practice, it was our mindset was to be as physical as possible and be as violent as possible up front. They were a team averaging around 250 yards a game, and we just knew that we had to be physical and win the game up front. Um, so in my mind, it was just take the ball out, and uh, that's what I was trying to do, and that's exactly what had happened. Did that, I guess, the momentum from that kind of carry you guys throughout the rest of the game? I think so. It, it came after that play. I think uh, Chase in the offense trying to punch in was huge. So I think that play definitely um, definitely helped the um, game of the the play of the game. So I, I definitely think it was huge. Thanks, Marquez. Yep. We move on to David Bush. <clears throat> All right. Congratulations, uh, Mark. Did uh, having um, um, Cam Good out? Did that change your responsibilities? Did you have to do more uh, without him? David, I don't think it did. I think I have a role in this team. I think everyone has a role in this team. And my role uh, was to step up and just play my game and play my 111. And that's just doing my job. So um, it was not me jumping out of my body. It was just me doing everything that I needed to do um, every game. And was that uh, kind of a, a dispiriting thing, learning that, of course, you're mi minus not Cam, but uh, Mo too. Uh, you know, how did, how did defense react to that? What was your, your question? Can you repeat your you're, question? You're missing the key guys that you were missing for the injuries. How, how did the defense react when you learned that? Uh, I think we responded well. We knew that guys had to step up, guys had to play uh, different roles, but play their game. Uh, we didn't let uh, key players – uh, being out of the game uh, affect us in the run game. So uh, I don't think it affected us too much. Okay, thanks. Hey, Steve Croner has a question. Steve? Hey, Marquez, uh, congrats. You mentioned about being tough up front. Uh, obviously, Oregon State came in as the, the leading rushing team in the conference. Baylor came in as the leading rusher in the conference. How were you able to not necessarily completely stop that running game, but certainly uh, slow it to a much greater degree than most teams have been able to do. I think it was just preparation. I, throughout the week, we worked on 12 personnel, 13 personnel, and just knowing that those tight ends will come off the ball if you're not ready, and the tackles as well. And we knew going in that they were a running team, and they were a very good football team. So we just knew that we had to be physical. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Congrats. Thank you. I think that's going to do for questions. Thank